absolute dead glass morning out here. Another lane? Yeah. Nice. It's a porgy. No, a trigger fish. Oh, trigger. Gray trigger? Yeah. Gray trigger. Is that a gray? That is a gray. Nice. Let me old gray. I got a little spot for the grays. Woo! What is up, guys? Welcome back and good morning. This. This is what dream days are made of right here. Would you say the same, Jeff? I would say the same. This is a dream-like day out here. It is dead glass. Fishing out of Anna Maria Island, Florida, and our first spot pulling up to, we, uh, our first spot we pulled up to, targeting hogfish first, which you guys know how much I love. Caught a couple of those. Jeff caught his first one, female, female hog. Jeff's not a female, but he caught a <laughs> he caught a female hogfish for his first one, and I think uh, I think he might get another one here in a second. Hopefully so. But um, got two in the box already, two keepers, uh, two males, and uh, hopefully more. But we don't know what we're gonna do. It's obviously perfection conditions out here. I mean, this it doesn't get any better than this. So we're gonna take advantage of it. We got a full tank of gas. We're full of bait and we're heading offshore and we don't know where we're going, but we're going and you guys are coming. Let's go. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a hogfish, baby. Oh, you need a net? Look at him, look at him. Net, no net. Nice male. Let me see, I don't know how he's hooked. Nice male though. Yeah, he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. Nice hogfish. <laughs> yeah. Ain't no time Give me to some of that. That's a freaking nice hogfish, dude. <laughs> On that I left my rod in the water with the tight drag. First light, baby. My favorite fish. These things are delicious. Look at the mouth in that thing. That thing is insane. Gosh, I love oh, these things. <laughs> you mind grabbing a picture for me? We came. There's our starter box, spot number one. Whew. We left the first spot, put in some work with the hogfish, caught three, two keepers, got some porgies, got some nice uh, lane snapper. Now we're at the second spot, we're in about 120 feet of water, um, targeting red grouper. Gonna try to limit out a red grouper before we send it off further. We're, we're pretty far offshore, offshore right now. Red grouper, but, uh, <laughs> told you, you gotta be locked down, baby. Oh, he's gonna get me in there. Jeff's on with a nice fish. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Jeff. You got him now. <laughs> it might just be because I haven't caught a big fish in a while, bro. What have you... <laughs> I told you to lock down your drag. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna dude. I'm you pull this because it's pretty good. No, I did leave a little bit of hair. Dude, they pull a lot of drag. You know what, too, I learned? I gave them the ability to turn on me down there. He is coming. Just down deeper, you know? Oh, nice fish, dude. Nice fish. Is that a gag or a red? Hope it's a red. It's a big old. It's a gag? Big red, eh? Oh, God. Big red. Oh my God. Yeah! Oh, I told you, dude. Yeah. I could tell you it was a donkey. I freaking told you, dude. Dude, get up here for a picture. This is a freak. Back, dude, this is bigger than, fr that's bigger than a Tortuga's red, bro. That is a big fucking fish. Oh my goodness. I got this line just straight. Look how giant this freaking red grouper is, guys. This is unbelievable. What a fat toad. Look at his belly. Baby, we're hooked up again. It's a nice fish, too. It's going to be another keeper red grouper right here, baby. Put the net back up. Dude. No. Oh, shoot, dude. He, he's pulling, dude. This thing is pulling, guys. Oh, dude. He's giving this rod a run for the money, dude. Let me know as you get close. 
Come check out. Come check out what's going on over here. Look at color. I got color. Oh, it might be American Red Snapper as aggressive as being freaking giant though. No, it's looking grouperish, right? No, American Red. American giant red. one though. Jeez. Look how big this fish is, dude. It's like dinosaur. Oh, I told you. What a freaking giant. Dude. Not in season, but a beauty to catch. <laughs> Holy smokes. What a giant. <sighs> he spit my other Mahara. What a giant, guys. Look at that fish. That's such a beautiful fish right there. Got to vent him out really quick. This is the same spot, guys. I don't know if you watched the last episode. This is exactly where I brought my daughter, where we cleaned house on the big red grouper and big red snapper. Um, but we gotta get this guy back in the water fast. What came up with that, bro? American red, bet. I don't know, he's going down though. Holy crap. Dude, I can't stop this fish, holy crap. Dude, please be a tuna. Dude, I can't stop him. room if he was on top. I don't know. That, it might be a big tuna. He's wiggling like a tuna. Yeah, let him run it out. That's a heck of a run. That thing just took. Might be. That guy was on the surface. Dude! We had a flat line off the bat, guys. And this thing just got smoked. Grab that reel. Oh my gosh. You it down nice. I see color. Oh my gosh. It's a big fish, dude. Tuna. It's a freaking tuna. It's a blackfin. Yeah! It's a big blackfin! Gigantic blackfin, dude. Oh my goodness. That's a beautiful fin, boy. Oh man. Get out of it. Give me. Dude, we saw <laughs> dude, we saw the we saw the fish blowing up in the front. I threw a ton of chummers out, threw a flat line out the back, and smacked them! <laughs> Woo! Man, dude. Dude, that's a good looking fish. <sighs> 20 pounds. That's a 20 pound freaking <laughs> 20 pound butterball, bro. <laughs> Yeah, we got an absolute giant red grouper in the box. We got two hogfish. We got lane snapper. We got a blackfin tuna baby. And it's only 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Woo! Can you get a picture, please? Yeah. Dude, you guys, you guys have no clue what just, oh my goodness. Yes, I almost just lost that fish. That thing was in the water. The line was wrapped around my ankle. I almost lost my leg. And uh, yeah, the fish is in the box though, baby. <laughs> we, we made sure we slit the throat. Oh my gosh, dude, this is, this is starting up. Look, the sun's not even hardly up yet. This is unbelievable. Jeff, is this gonna be an insane day or what? It's done, the day's already, uh, it's already insane, man. It's, it's 8.30 in the morning and uh, <laughs> Jeez Louise. We want to review what's in the box? Jeez. <laughs> I don't even know if we want to right now. Dude, we can go in right now 100% satisfied. Yeah, we, we just caught that big red and didn't have a chance to keep catching those and that line went off. Black bit on! I gotta clear these other lines. I had to reel up the other lines, just get everything out of his way. Same thing he did for me. And now we're just waiting. They're do he's doing the tuna roll right now. <laughs> About to go grab a... Uh, Grab the net. I kind of feel like grabbing my gaff to give him a little gaff shot. Yeah. A little bit, I do. I mean, hey. Nice Look, oh, I see color. All right, got the Bubba Blade gaff ready. Oh, he's way out. There he is. 
another freaking jumbo, dude. It's too deep. There we go. One more turn on him. Right in the Ooh. noggin. Right in the noggin, baby. Beautiful shot, dude. Wow, look at that. Freaking guy. <laughs> dude, give me yeah. some of that. That's freaking awesome. What a giant, dude. <laughs> How fun was that? It feels so good because a couple of these trips, man, I've gotten taken and couldn't stop them. So amazing. That's insane. Let's get a couple of pictures. The farthest I've been offshore in my boat, we're in 170 feet of water. Uh, far farthest I've been offshore, let me rephrase, here in out of Anna Maria, 170 feet of water and just fishing some hard bottom. I got a, looks like a big old red grouper coming up, boys. Look at this, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, baby. That'll you. add to the collection. I got the, um... Woo! Oh, you got it. Beautiful fish. Our goal is to limit out on red group, grouper, guys. We got two in the box now. Nice, it's, it's literally an amazing day so far. It's a little, little bit more breezy out here, but... We're fishing a random hard bottom number out here that I've never fished in my life. He dropped down, we got a couple small bites. Um, we're just fishing knocker rigs. However, out here in 170 feet, you gotta, you gotta bump up the, the terminal tackle. You gotta bump up those weight, weights. We're, we were fishing four ounce and it was like so much scope. So we're using six or eight ounce lead right now. Hopefully get some more red grouper, throw it in the box. Jeff dropped down that vertical jig and it panned out. That's a vertical jig, right? Yeah. Uh, slow pitch. Slow pitch. Nice. It is a vertical jig on a slow pitch rod. Heck yeah. Nice. This could be our last, our last keeper to make limit. I see color. Could he be the one? Oh yeah, what do you think? <laughs> oh, I see him out there. Watch this, Jeff. <laughs> this thing's gonna get freaking crushed. Look at him. Oh, look at him out there. Throw this thing a country mile too. Yeah, they're chasing it. You saw him? Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was gonna be sick. Dude, this. Oh! <laughs> Look at that thing. Look at the. That's a shark. Look at him, look at him, look at him. <laughs> See him? Look at him, I can't help it, I can't help it. Oh, that's so cool, man. Oh, <laughs> that was so you sick. Look at that, look at that, look at him right here. Cobias are all brown, dark brown. Right there, that one. Look at that one right there. Could be a cobia. Is this another colored amber right there? Yeah, right there. Oh yeah, look at them. Oh my goodness. Dude, they love this popper. They're all into it. You got a pop popper? Look at the bottom a little bit. Oh my gosh, look, look. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff! Oh! <laughs> the thing in the boat! Whoa! I don't know if I'm gonna get this one. Oh. Nail, 
Jeff's on again. Yeah, it could be, right? Yeah, heck yeah, it is. The, he's fighting the same, but yeah. bigger. There he is. That's his body weight. I wouldn't get him eight, though. I don't know how I much heat you need to put. But, dude, also, right? <laughs> in African <laughs> Papano, baby. I can't wait to hold that fish. Show it to the cam, baby. Oh, I can't wait to hold that fish. Dude. That's a good looking fish. That's a beauty, dude. Beautiful African pompano. <laughs> On the knocker rig. Dude, not much she meat. Yeah. Oh my God, look at that. Barely hooked. Ooh, that's a <laughs> giant, dude. <laughs> yeah. We called it too. I, we said, what if something epic happens like African pompano? Sure enough, dude. You got him. What a beautiful fish. Mm -hmm. All right, boys. I don't know what this is. I hope it got it's an African pompano, though. Heavy. It looks big. It's not shiny. It looks like a grouper. Please be a bat. Black. Red. Oh, gag. Nice, dude. Close to a black. Let's break the species in, keep it going. <laughs> nice, dude. Heck yeah, nice little gag. Eee! What an absolute epic day we just had. Holy smokes. I mean, what'd we start off doing? Started off first light. Before, we, before the sun even sh was shining, we got our first hogfish to the boat. Then we decided to send it offshore. We, got, we actually got three hogfish at the first spot. So we decided to send it offshore to limit out on red grouper. That was the goal. We got to the spot. Jeff caught a huge, a jumbo red grouper. Then after, after he got the red, red grouper, immediately after, we hooked up to two giant blackfin tuna. Left that spot thinking like, we're already winning, obviously. I mean, we were winning after the hogfish. Yeah, it seemed like the grouper bite turned off there. Anyway. Yeah, the grouper bite turned off. We got the two black fin. We got the big red grouper. So we're like, ah, we're already winning. Let's just switch it up, try something new. We headed way offshore, 170 feet of water. Got into more red grouper. <laughs> we limited out on red grouper. He actually two got nice two on. more keepers on, on a jig. And then... We decided to top it all off by going to a shipwreck that's way out here. And on that shipwreck, we got an African <laughs> pompano. I mean, how much better can it get? I mean, I don't know, like, I was thinking something epic was gonna happen today just because we got the right forecast. We just, we knew we had a tentative plan. We didn't know exactly what we were doing, but it ended up being an epic day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. By the way, we caught Basically everything that we are fishing on knocker rigs, the bigger knocker rigs were, you know, 6.0 circle hooks, 60 pound fluorocarbon, four and 6.0, uh, six ounce uh, egg weights. And then uh, for the hogfish, we used hog balls. Thanks to John Chapman. Appreciate you, John. Um, but other than that, everything's knocker rigs, simple rigs, white bait, pinfish, and shrimp. That's it. <laughs> Easy. Easy peasy. <laughs> now we got a long ride in. <laughs> well, actually, it's going to be not that long no. after that day. That's awesome. Appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll see you next time. <laughs>